Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about Django and Flask. So there is a lot of controversies between these two Python frameworks. And in this video, we are going to be talking about why and when do we use a particular framework. So first of all, let's talk about what these two frameworks are. So Django and Flask, they are Python frameworks which allows us to build server-side web application, obviously using Python. So why do we use, do we choose one over the other? So I won't basically say one is better than the other because both of them have their use case. So it depends on what project you want to build that you know, you know the framework you want to use. So for Flask, I'll say Flask is more lightweight. Now that's the most popular, let me say like signature that goes along with Flask. Everybody knows Flask is lightweight, but why is it lightweight? So Flask mainly when you're developing a project using Flask, you do a lot of the configurations yourself. But otherwise in Django, a lot of things have already been done for you. It's a more high level framework. So the reason why Flask is, I'll say, easier to get started with is because you don't need to learn a lot of complicated code. In Django, there are things that are already done for you, which is easy, like database connection, um, the admin panel. Django comes with a building admin panel, which allows you to just maintain your site and see your database easily without even connecting to like Postgres or any external database. Now, all these things makes Django very easy, but why the downside of that is that all this code weren't written by you. So you need to learn how this Django works. You need to learn the syntax. You need to learn what you need to code or what you need to do to make it work. Otherwise, in Flask, you do most of the stuff yourself. So the database connectivity and some other more configurations you do it yourself so you're not really learning too much of syntax and how the code works so that's one of the points we need to talk about see when we're talking about Django and Flask now another thing that comes with Django and Flask is that if you are building an application that needs high level security I will personally highly recommend Django now Django comes with a lot of built-in securities and I'm going to give one for example, like when we are using a form and then we want to use a post method to submit that form. Now Django comes with a built-in CSRF token. If you don't know what a CSRF is, it basically stands for cross-site request forgery. So that is basically like an attack in which like hackers can use to steal information from your form. But if you have a CSRF token, it's gonna prevent it from it's gonna prevent that from happening basically. So Django automatically, if you use a post form, it automatically gives you that CSRF token, that feature which protects you against those attacks. There are some other ones like cross-site scripting and some other ones I'm not gonna go into details in this video. But Django basically comes with more. Let me say more security features than Flask. And another thing I'm going to talk about is the community. Now, some people say Flask has a lower community than Django. I don't buy that. I don't agree to that because both of them are the most popular Python frameworks. So they both have a very strong community. If you have a bug in Django and you look it up on Stack Overflow or Google, I'm very sure you'll see someone that already answered that problem or solve that problem and the same goes with flask if you have a problem with flask and just look it up on google stack overflow someone has already done it. both of them has a lot of a very strong community and a lot of developers use both these both frameworks so another thing uh we talk about is the type of project you want to build now there are companies that use django and there are companies that use flask now we have Instagram using Django. Um, not sure if they use it to this date, but they started with Django. So we don't know how much of Django is still on their site now, but they started with Django. Spotify uses Django. If you know the Washington Post, they also use Django. And for like Flask, uh, where I know that Airbnb uses Flask, uh, Netflix also uses Flask. So you see the difference now. 
because flask is lightweight doesn't mean it can't do you can use it to build good projects you can use it to build a lot of good projects a lot of companies also use flask and there's also high demand in jobs also in flask so the i hope with this few point you understood maybe the meaning or the differences between django and flask now the take home is uh, when do you choose django or flask so for django like if you are short on time or have a limited budget django is perfect for your project like if you want to build something like e-commerce platforms like ml apps government websites or something like that django is best for your project but if you have a small sized or mid-sized project that has or that requires unique you know, some unique features and requires some custom component or something like that flask is especially good for you because you need to you have the chance to let me say design or customize a lot of things by yourself while in django they're already done for you which makes it easier for you so i hope you understood and got to, and grasp everything we said in this video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and if you have any question or you have a point you want to say that i didn't talk about of yours of course i can talk about everything so you can drop it down in the comments and then everybody will see it so thank you so much for watching and bye for now